So today I'm going to be going through one of my sketchbooks that I started October 2017 and finished 2019. Um, it took me a while to get through this sketchbook. If you have watched my previous video about going to Hobby Lobby, uh, that's when I bought this sketchbook. This art is in that video just to fill the very first page. Let's get started. So as you saw from the front, I filled it with stickers. I started doing that with my sketchbooks because I love stickers and I never have anywhere to put them. And these are a couple of places that I went with this sketchbook. St. Augustine, Florida, train sticker. And I went to Flagler College, got a tour of that. This is supposed to be like magician me that was what i was going for just to fill this front cover page i think i did a three marker challenge act. so i drew her and i had bought three markers that day at hobby lobby so I just decided to do a three marker challenge. The very first page of the sketchbook, so it wasn't so daunting once I actually started in it. Um, these are, I think, when I first got my whole erase colored pencils. Um, they're good for sketching and stuff, uh, and I was just sketching some different stuff, I guess, because there's a little scarecrow and a kitty on a fence. This was, it's dated around Halloween, so that's probably why I went with like a Halloween theme. Um, so this is around Christmas now, so this is actually in November. Um, I started watching the Hallmark movies and got that inspiration for that. Um, this was, I think, just me doing a quick doodle of Rudolph. I'm up with ideas for doing how to draws um, on my other channel. So this is kind of figuring out an easy thing to teach. Um, more doodles over here. It looks like I was trying to draw a girl with her hood up. Um, and then this I doodled, so I didn't color it, but I doodled while I was waiting in the pharmacy. Did all like sorts of sweets and stuff for a uh, holiday, Christmassy time. And then I went back with watercolor later and colored it in. Um, so this one is one of the doodle doodle day decembers um on instagram there's someone that um sets up prompts for each month um that you could just doodle or draw every day just a little something with the prompt so that day was sweater so i drew a girl in a sweater can't remember why i drew him but he's a cute little bird with a light goggles ready to fly um here's some more doodles of doggos i think i was just trying to practice some different doggos cartoon doggos and stuff Ooh, my 2018 resolutions oh boy i wonder if i did 2019 ones those might be in here too so I checked off what I did. So it looks like I was able to have more fun with YouTube. Oh, um, let's see in the little blurbs. See, I didn't make exercising a habit. I had more fun once I started Twitch streams and <laughs> the changes that happened back in 2018 changed my view of YouTube. Still changed, still very changed, still not a positive view but I like making videos and this is really the only website that allows for that. I was drawing Pinocchio so I I think I remember this day I was watching Pinocchio on TV and so I was trying to draw him. 
um, practicing some noses and mouths on this page. Um, this looks like some watercolor I was messing with. I might have actually been out on the beach because I have like a travel watercolor set. So I might have been actually out on the beach trying to capture a wave. Um, and this page is full of Shakespeare tickets and stuff that when I went on a trip with my old college roommate, we went to Virginia, Staunton, if you ever get to go, a uh, Blackfriars Theater. Full, wonderful shows. Uh, I suggest going there. Um, it was a lot of fun, so I like kept some of my receipts and drew little Shakespeare cats on this page. Let's see, these were... I was taking references from Instagram, I think? Silly pet portrait things. There's this doggo with a bunny on his head and a cat in a box cut out over his head. Um, some more cat doodles, looks like, and I did like a weird shaped alligator guy. I might have done like a scribble challenge thing. Just um, more cats, and I you know, like him. Very cute. The lizard and the lion. Did a flamingo over here. I like this. This is, uh, looks like I was messing around with colored pencil. I'm trying to do fruit. I'm pretty sure I did these with reference. References on my Google. I like the grapes. I think I did good on the grapes and the strawberry. This might actually be partially watercolor. It feels kind of... And the page is kind of warped too. Um, more cats. And then this I had as my banner on my banner for a while, I think. It's Mercy and Jaina, my two cats. They're always visiting. Some bears over here. Like I was doing an emote idea page, looks like. I was practicing some birds. This is kind of what it ended up being. And then this became, I don't know, the thing that shows up next to your name in chat. If you're a subscriber, that's what that became. Here's a chicken. Some more birds. I think I was on a bird kick just to draw some birds. Since I'm a lover bird. Then I had some just doodling little ideas so I didn't forget what I wanted to draw. And then I never did these emote ideas. So maybe they will be future emotes. I don't know. There's some more birds, toucan and parrot. There's <laughs> there's some doggos dressed for work very important business oh and it's wally the whale i drew this for a friend on twitch finn diesel wally is a very loved whale on his stream bunny it's like i was drawing more animals this became a red bubble sticker so this is up on my red bubble if you want a sticker of him. I colored him, like I scanned him and colored him in Photoshop, I think, or Clip Studio, one of the two. And he's a sticker. So is this guy, the doggo shark. He is a sticker. Oh, and there's a mermaid cat. I wonder if this, I didn't date these. I'm a slacker. There's some more animals. Must have been on animal kick practice wise. Oh, and these were done actually on the beach. I was trying to use seagulls as reference, but they kind of don't stay still. So that's what I got. And then there's a crab next to me. They kept popping out of a hole and then he'd go run back in and so I was trying to draw him. Looks like I did Doodle a Day September. It's a balloon animal latte art. 
classroom whiskers so i did a cat more doodles um pizza with that one books a snail and tower was this one didn't color the tower i guess there are some days that i just wanted to spend more time craft there's <laughs> a cat doing a craft door was 10 remember September 11th. It looks like a flag, but I forgot the stars. Must have been a quick day. Um, pathway. You can see that because it's in pencil still. Begins with M. So, moose. Fortune. There's a little fortune teller girl. Um, close up. So, I did a camera. And tourist. Uh, mythical creature. I know I had I had a hard time doing the horse body on her. Pottery was the 18th. Nails. Also not good at hands around then. I think I was still getting the hang of hands. Fairy. Elephant. Autumn, glass, and furniture. I like my couch. My couch is good. <laughs> Comic. So I drew Garfield. Storefront. Frame. And neighbor. So they're like shouting across the yard at each other. wild so I drew this blind guy and pattern it's like one of those um, paper cutting things where you end up with a long string of the pattern now inktober 2018 um, this is where I got uh, some colored ink just for fun to add in so then this is day one what's poisonous Day two is Tranquil. And day three is Roasted. <laughs> so I put a little turkey. And the doggos stealing it. Um, spell was day four. Chicken. That one was an easy prompt. Was day five. Should have done like Kentucky Fried Chicken, but... Day six, drooling. Got some drool hanging there. Um, day seven, exhausted. Day eight was star. Day nine is precious. So I have him looking at precious jewels. Day ten is flowing, so I did a flowing gown. Day 11 was cruel, so I did the villain and damsel in distress on the railroad track. Day 12 is whale, and I apparently gave him an eye patch and a pierced fin, and he has a little scar. Day 13 is guarded. Here I use some of my gold um, ink. Day 14 is clock. Day 15 was weak, reaching for some coffee. I remember this day was like the start of, oh, I don't, I'm tired. I'm tired of Inktober already. So I guess it's kind of halfway through at day 15, but definitely was like, oh, I am done <laughs> already. Day 16 is angular. So I did like an angular battleship. Day 17 is swollen, so I gave her a puffy eye. That turned out pretty good. Day 18 is bottle. This one turned out nice too. I did actual like watered down inks it looks like. To make the glass bottle and stuff. 
day 19 is scorched, so I did a little dwarf getting scorched by sneezing dragon. Breakable was day 20, so I did link with a line of pots. Day 21 is drain, so I have little fruit bats draining some fruit. Day 22 is expensive, so I did old Bart's car. Day 23 is muddy. Um, so I did a pig in the mud. Uh, day 24 was chop, so I did a kung fu panda. Brickly is day 25. Day 26 is Stretch, so it is Stretch and Kitty. Thunder is Day 27, and we always used to say that it's the angels bowling when it's thundering. Day 28 is Gift. Day 29 is Double. She has like her twin self in the mirror in the mirror world day 30 is jolt so I made up an energy drink day 31 so this is the final day of Inktober finally done it is slice and then it looks like started practicing my Battleships like my old ships because I got a book references That was a start and then it has like old diving equipment reference photos too, so I did some of those more doodle doodle a day sky with a pegasus market there's some fresh fruit and veggies theater camp where a bear is ransacking this camp over here. Breakfast and I think this is just back to normal doodles down here. Oh this is December. So I jumped from the 5th of November to December 12th without ever drawing. That was a long break. And on Christmas, I drew this doodle with Kitty and the presents. And 2019, these resolutions. I figured they'd be in here. Better time management. Kind of did okay with that. Read more. Eh. Not so much. Improve watercolor skills, I did. And I still need to work on improving health and wellness, but... That's another story, um, but yeah, I think I definitely succeeded in trying to get better at watercolor and improving more. It's actually on my 2020 resolution slash goal list. Um, it looks like some doodles, and I did a Draw with Jazza, his app challenge, um, where it gives you a prompt of a character to draw. And I got a funny boss that has the power to control water with scales for skin. So I did a fish boss. And then this one is a royal elf wearing an Elvis Presley costume and sipping tea. That one was hard. And this one just looks like a made up one, maybe? Or I just didn't write it down eye patch and crown and her holding a telescope seems very specific and this i yeah so i continued because this there's also an environment challenge one oh and this is the start of when i was following along with pub draw um it's a thing that critical role does so that she teaches you how to draw their characters and just basic drawing stuff and yeah so this is my jester 
Um, I think I did some practice here, but then this is Percy from the Percy night. Here's some more doodles. I did some Zootopia doodles. Um, some practice with my hands. Pra face practice. And then this is not from Pub Draw Night. I had a lot of fun with these pub draws. There's more pub draw and learning along with. Um, this is practice after. Yeah, I think this is practice after as well. And then this is my grog. He turned out good. I like him. Mercy is currently um, very active, so if you hear bells and stuff in the background, it's because she's running around like crazy. Um, I did. That's supposed to be Jaina sitting on the end of the couch. Her face isn't exactly proportional, but I was trying to draw her from reference. Um, this is my Caleb and Frumpkin from that pub draw night and I actually inked it. This is my tabaxi pub draw. Um, I think you gotta choose other type of animal you wanna do or like other character. So I chose to do a tabaxi I think. And then here's more practice. I think I practiced with this too, because I didn't put pub draw on this page. Um, it looks like I got some new pens, so I was trying them out for this page. Just some practicing some faces again. I'm pretty sure I was trying to draw this from reference to from the backyard. Kind of hard because birds are constantly moving around. Here's some more. These two are definitely Jaina references, but then she turned, I think. More face practice on this page. Um, and it looks like I started doing pub draw with this one. And then, I don't know, I just got frustrated and stopped because they were moving too fast. More cats, practicing cat faces, human faces. I definitely got better at doing cartoony faces and like illustrating human faces with this sketchbook. Here's some more different types of character faces. This is my coffee shark. Uh, I was practicing with colored pencils on this page again, doing some leaves. Let's see, is this June? Yep, June corns. I didn't do it every day, but I just did a June corn day. It looks like I was starting to do a life drawing and then stopped. There's a mermaid. This is another one where I was actually on the beach and drawing stuff, but it like a pelican didn't land. I was just drawing a pelican from my imagination, but these two are definitely from life. Um, this is for Shark Week because I thought it was just funny because seems like you wonder what the sharks think every time they have an influx of scientists and stuff for Shark Week. Um, these are also life drawings. I call them beach chickens on this page where I was drawing all the seagulls while I was on the beach. Um, this was just a fun doodle to do like a costumey thing. I don't think I had really a theme or anything, I just kind of liked, I started with the spiky and then worked 
my way down to make it some kind of costume thing. More faces, practice, and hair it looks like. I was trying to do two buns on her head. This is the start of practice for a tattoo design that I'm working on right now. Um, she wanted a raven and a lily. Uh, so I'm still working on that because I want it to look nice. And she didn't give me a deadline. Uh, so yeah, these are the start of me kind of figuring out. Yep, here's some more practice, trying to figure out what kind of in-flight I want it to be, or I'm giving her a few different options as well. Looks like I did these from Instagram pictures, I remember. Just some different fashion drawings. Some shoes. I need to get better drawing shoes, so I'm pretty sure that's why I drew those. More. Practicing wings for that same tattoo. Owl faces. And cat. And yeah, I'm pretty sure all of these are like Instagram reference photos and stuff. Just scrolling through Instagram and doodling. Here's some lily practice. These two pages. Some different lilies. Um, birds, little birds, yeah, I think the, these are all Instagram pet photos doodled from. I think these are different faces from Instagram as well. I think that's what I was trying to finish up this sketchbook with, is just Instagram reference photos to practice and get it finished. And then I did, little bunny! The end. So that took me two years to finish. This year I'm hoping my next sketchbook I can give a tour much sooner than I did this one. And that's kind of one of my resolutions is to just draw more in my sketchbook. So that's this sketchbook from 2017 to 2019. 2020 now and starting new fresh stuff give this a thumbs up a like if you enjoyed going through this sketchbook with me thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one